What up guys, Tokyo here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the most recent build that I've been playing. It's the Engineer Support Grenade build. I've had a lot of interest in it and loads of people asking um, you know, what the build is and that. So so yeah, here it is guys. Um, this is a hybrid build that I made myself. It's made for 5v5 tournaments again. Um, the build pretty much focuses on your positioning, um, your ability to aim your grenades, uh, your, your, to aim your Elixir S, your Elixir H and your Res. Um, you're pretty much a um, support only. You know, you can 1v1, it's, you know, it, it works, but it's best if you stay out of the fight and support from a distance. So um, I'd label this build um, a build for a defensive Roma. Um, to start with, 30, 10, 0, 10, 20. As you, like I said, it's hybrid. Um, we start with the 30 in explosives, obviously, for the grenade power and stuff like that. We're, we're, we're using the pistol, but we've got loads of power. I'll tell you why soon. Um, firstly, we're at incendiary power. This is a must-have. 33% chance to burn for two seconds on critical hits. This build crits a lot. Um, we've got quite a high crit chance, especially with our grenades whilst we're standing still. So that's the reason for that. Um, sh short, ooh, short fuse reduces recharge for bombs and grenades. Obviously, our grenades are off cooldown as much as they can be. And yep, yeah, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, Grenadier, you throw your grenades 25% farther, and you throw an extra grenade with each grenade hit skill. Right. Um, straight into firearms here. Precision and condition damage. Um, I only spec'd into this for the range, uh, this is fairly similar to one of my last build videos that I uploaded, however it is different and it does work and it provides a lot of defence from backstab thieves, you're no longer been able, you, you can't get one shot anymore, so if some of you guys are using my old build and stuff and you're finding it hard against backstab thieves, you know, and if somebody sees you and they keep focusing you, um, this is the answer for you, this is the, uh, the remedy, this is what you need. Um, Self-regulating defences. This is your defence against backstab thieves and all the one-shot classes out there right now. You know, sometimes a mesmer depends, but uh, mostly against good backstab thieves in high-tier tournament play. Um, Self-regulating defences really, really helps because obviously you're invulnerable at 25%, uh, which is really sweet. <coughs> um, straight into tools, we've got the speedy quit, speedy kits for the um, for the mobility there, swiftness. We've got the scope. 10% chance, 10% crit chance while standing still. Now, if I'm in, if I'm positioned correctly, and I don't just stand on wall or anything, I've got my own little positions and stuff, which I'm sure that you guys can find out for yourself. And I'm spamming grenades, then that is 10% more than what I already have, which would be 52%. And my crit damage is also 52%, as that's quite high. So 52% chance and 52% crit damage is very high. Now, um, the reason my crit damage is so high is because of my runes of divinity. Obviously you can see here, two plus 2% two crit damage times 6, which is quite high, and 10 to all stats. So, Rune of Divinity, I found this most useful. Oh, I've got my grenade kit out, so I can't show you now. Uh, originally, I do swap between, as you can see here, I do swap between a shield and pistol uh, in games, as I do swap between my amulets as well. I mean, this is up to you guys. If you guys don't feel comfortable with gear swapping um, in game, then, then don't do so. I suggest that you stick to... Uh, double pistol or pistol shield is entirely up to you. Um, the the sigil, if you're using a pistol, um, still it's, it's still the same. You should always use superior uh, rune of the blood. Yeah, sigil of superior bloodlust, um, purely because of the power that you gain. As you can see here, my power is already very very high indeed, and and yeah, and that's the reason for that. Anyway, sigil of superior air, 30% chance to cause a critical. Oh my goodness, 30% chance on critical cause a lightning strike which is um, very powerful um, and the bloodlust obviously 10 power each time you kill a foe, foe max 25 stacks ends on a down and you don't seem to get killed a lot at least I don't because I'm used to this build and I'm sure once you guys get used to this build and learn how to play it um, it will be the same for you Berserker's amulet um, I'm using this obviously for the high amount of power and the critical damage it's got a tiny bit of vitality on it and the precision which helps towards my crit and that is pretty much it for the uh, for the jewels and the sigils and stuff like that. Uh, let's go straight into the abilities. I'll give you guys a bit more of a, an insight of how this works. Basically, the reason I use Elixir H, Elixir S, and Elixir R, obviously you know why I use the grenade kit, but the, the R, the S, and the H are purely for my tool belt skills here. When I'm at range, this is let's say this is the mid-fight. When I'm at range, I can provide support for my team with Elixir H. I can provide stability or stealth with the S for my team on stomps, which is very important indeed. So even though the Guardian has stability, I make sure that I, I, uh, I, you know, make sure I'm using that when he's not and stuff like that. So it's important to talk to your Guardian. And I've got the res. And when I reach 25% health, here, where is it? Where are we? 
when you reach 25% health, your tool belt skills recharge. So if a backstab thief does come after me or something like that, then I've already got an elixir R for myself, or I've already got a stealth for myself, I've already got a grenade barrage. So I've basically got these moves twice, which is handy, and it does work very, very well, especially with the R. People find it extremely frustrating and annoying to, um, yeah, to basically kill me. Um, as where the last build was very similar to this, but I was using rifle and knockbacks, and it was it was a bit uh, it just wasn't really working for me it did for a time but then I decided to change it up and now this build you know I mean I don't I wasn't originally going to release this build but I thought I had, I had a lot of people asking and it's the nice thing to do um, so yeah I mean that's pretty much it guys you just got to remember what your role is if you forget what your role is and try and man mode into a fight you, the build's not gonna work for you you're gonna die um, although you can go toe to toe and because we're so heavily stacked in power here you find that your poison dart volley and stuff like that hurts a great deal and that's the thing with this build it, we're, we're stacked in power but we're using like every single one of our moves as you can see here like poison and with, with the double pistol obviously you've got the the glue shot and the flamethrower which works extremely well as well like I said I switched between the two but you can see we're power stacked but every single one of our um, our moves here in pistol and grenade has a base uh, condition on it and the damage on these conditions and the effect and you know what they what they do is pretty retarded but we're not stacked into condition we're stacked into power so we've got the best of both worlds here and that's exactly why this build works and I, I honestly believe that there's no better support this build is just it's pretty damn good and until the meta changes I'm gonna be using this build until I'm forced to change or you know change it up a little bit and and yeah um, so yeah I'm glad you um, you guys uh, like the build and I hope you guys like the, the dual commentary video me and um, Aria, Aria Swag just did. Um, if you like any of my vids or Aria's vids guys, remember to like and subscribe. And keep supporting us as we're going to keep releasing videos for you guys. New builds, tips, tricks and video clips as, as Aria would say. Um, yeah, so peace out guys. Um, enjoy.